Friday Night Funkin', but it's on Scratch. Scratch is a very limited programming language used mostly by kids, but this didn't stop some people from making full-on games like this. This was made on Scratch, and this, and this, and this. They're all made on Scratch. Some people have even tried to make Friday Night Funkin' ports, and I found four that are really good, and I'm going to be rating them based off these three categories. Now, I'm going to be mostly rating the engines because that's where most of the Scratch code is at, and most of the assets are from the game anyway. So with that, let's see the ports. So the first port we have is from Among Us Red, and um, it, it's a port alright. This is probably what you think of when you hear Friday Night Funkin' on Scratch. The input system on this port is very primitive. Basically, if this note touched that arrow and key press, add points. No combos, no timing windows. So pretty bare bones, so it's okay. Now modding this port would be a pain because of how unorganized some of the code is. Adding custom songs and charts would be difficult because all of the audio files and song charts are stored all over the place. Speaking of charts, the way these charts are stored are also very primitive. Each of the individual notes is hard coded in, so basically it's impossible to add custom charts. In all, very bad for ease of modding. Optimization wise, there's nothing much to say. The game runs pretty smoothly since there's not much going on. Most of the time there's only three things moving on the screen. Something that I really liked about this mod is the assets. I know I said a lot of bad things about this mod but the custom assets actually look really good. The style that BF, GF, and Skid and Pump are drawn in looks cute. Overall this port gets a 5.5 out of 10. Bad but still playable. I mean, like this menu system is like so hard to navigate. What the hell is this? This isn't week one. I clicked on week one. Oh shit, it's the Roblox person. The hell are these buttons for? They're, they do nothing. Look at that guy in the back smiling with a Sonic shirt. This is none of your business. Average Sonic fan. Average Friday Night Funkin' fan. Bro, the arrows aren't even synced to the music. Fortnite card. What is this? Okay. Yo, what Fortnite. is this? Don't get blocked. Okay. Gibberish. Oh, this is that one animation from like Cube HQ or something, whatever his name was. Never watched it though. Press start. Isn't, isn't that Dan TDM's intro, right? Yeah, it was also like one of the Geometry Dash levels. Also, what the hell is this guy supposed to be? He doesn't even look like the Geometry Dash cube. He looks more like that Doodle Jump guy. They should make a Doodle Jump FNF mod. But damn, he is dancing though. Look at his moves. Okay, is the chart just gonna repeat itself? It's not giving me anything new. What? Hello? Music? Am I stuck here in purgatory with the same chart over and over? Well, damn. I guess you can't beat that level. Megalovania. Well, it's Sans. Is the music fading? What? What? Oh my god, no. Not again. I'm stuck here with purgatory with Sans. What's in configurations? There's not much to this game. Particles? Damn, look at those particles. This is gonna overheat my PC. The next port we have is from DownloadMan31 and a couple other people. And it's actually really good. The input system on this port works, but I'm noticing that the up arrow sometimes just doesn't register properly. People have pointed this out and the creator said he can't fix it since he's in summer school. In all, the input system is good, minus the up arrow. Also, I found this in the comment section. Please fix up arrow. Don't be ugly. Remember how I said the last port would be a pain to mod? Well, this port would be impossible to mod. Just look how messy this code is! How is anyone supposed to look through this code? Adding custom songs and characters is possible if you clean up the code enough, but adding custom charts is actually impossible. You see, Friday Night Funkin' stores its charts as a JSON file, but Scratch can't read JSON files. To get around this, a converter is used to convert the JSON file into a more readable format for Scratch. The thing is, the creator of the port, Download Man, hasn't released the converter publicly, so there's actually no way to add custom charts. Now this port is still in its early stages, which explains the messy code and the converter not being public. Download Man said he would have instructions on how to mod for the final version, but in its current state, the modability of this port is okay at best. For optimization, this game runs pretty smoothly on my computer. Code could be cleaned up a lot though, but other than that, it's great. Something I want to point out is that all of the sprites are vector traces, which I prefer over importing the assets from the original game. I don't know, it just gives it this unique look. Overall, this port gets a 7 out of 10. Great, but fix the input system.
Okay, thanks for the seizure. Okay, that's a bit excessive. What? What the hell? That's like half my health. And can it stop giving me up arrows? What the fuck? Bro, what the hell? How am I almost dead? Alright, I'm back to full health again. And we're back to this garbage again. Yeah, still able to pass the level. Oh, what? I was at like full health. Oh, and this is at the end of the song too. What the hell? Alright, second try. I'm at the end of the song again. Oh, okay. I guess it's just impossible. What? 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 Oh my god. This song is impossible. Okay, so the strat is to not hit the up arrows. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it, it will work. Okay, this is just stupid now. I hate how the whole notes have a delay when taking your health away. Because it's like, it gives you hope, and then it just takes it straight away. Mmm, bro, why do the whole notes like take more health than they give? Okay, I guess half these songs are impossible now that I can't hit up arrows. The next port is from Cable X. It's also really good. I don't know what else to say. The input system is also really great. All my notes actually hit. Look, I'm playing Tiki. The only problem is that Scratch is capped at 30 frames per second, and playing a rhythm game at 30 FPS is not the best. The modability of this port is amazing. The creator of the port CableX has provided a whole guide on how to mod the port. This modding guide actually helped a lot with porting other Friday Night Funkin' mods like Witty, Tricky, Zardy, and a shitload of other ones. There is some questionable code in this port, but the optimization of this code is good. Now the only issues I have with this port are a ton of minor stuff, like how the characters don't bop their heads in sync, how the zooming function is broken, how the whole notes don't really look good, how the score system isn't accurate to the real game, how the accuracy system isn't very accurate, the second player sometimes just miss the notes randomly, and a ton of other stuff. Because there were so many minor issues, I decided to make my own version which fixed these issues. There's also a high score system which the original game didn't have. Also I held the high score for stress for about 5 minutes. I'm not kidding. Someone took it after 5 minutes. Also I'm in the change logs. Overall this port gets an 8 out of 10. Great but needs polishing. I don't even know what to play. This is just regular FNF. I guess I'll just pace, play stress. So I didn't really explain to you guys how I got in change log. So let, let me tell you the story about that. Basically, as I've said before, there were a ton of minor issues with Cable X's engine. I, I just wanted to fix them because, you know, they just kind of got on my nerves. So while I was fixing the engine, I noticed a problem with the input system. Basically, it was impossible to hit hold notes. And luckily, I was able to fix this glitch. When I commented this issue on Cable X's original uh, game, Cable X replied saying that he fixed the glitch and issued a new update. So before that, hold notes were impossible to hit, which means that the maximum amount of points you can get was all the notes except the whole notes. But now that you can hit the whole notes, the maximum amount of points you could get is higher now. As soon as I got this reply, I just went straight to stress to get the high score and I instantly got it. First try. There was this guy named Brazilian Ball Map or whatever, the, whatever his name is. He instantly got it like five minutes after. I don't even know how. I don't know if he's just playing this game 24-7, but, but five minutes after, he got the high score. Like, what the hell? Basically, because I was able to fix the input system, that's why I'm in the change logs. And it also explains why I got the high score for stress for only five minutes. The last port we have is from Schmish21. And this port feels like the real game. The input system is also good. Look, I'm playing Tiki again. Again, this port is still capped at 30 frames per second. The modding potential is also really good. You can add charts, change the character, and add songs, but the code isn't very intuitive. There's instructions on how to add songs and custom charts, but if you want to add a character, you're on your own. I think a more fleshed out modding guide would help out. Anyways, there's still lots of mods of this port. The optimization of this port is also great. The code of this port can be clunky, but it runs very smoothly for no reason at all. Like look at BF's animation, it doesn't even look like it's 30 FPS. Overall, this port gets a 9 out of 10. Great, but modding can be difficult. 
I don't even know what to show off for gameplay with this one either, so I guess I'll just play around with the camera, because that's always fun. Wow, look at the camera shake. Okay, no, no, it's actually impossible. I'll just let the bot play it. So I've, I've been letting the bot play it for a few minutes, and I've been staring at it, and I'm like getting a little motion sick. It's like hurting my eyes looking at the camera shake like this. Yeah, let me just turn up the spinniness a little more. Yeah, this is this is perfect. POV, you're playing tree mod. So I just turned down the spinniness a little to see if I can play it. And I can play like some of it, but the arrows keep going off screen, so it's like really hard to see them. So now I'm on Sky because the charts on Garcella were too easy for this rhythm game god gamer. Bruh, how am I still alive? Bruh, how am I not dead? Oh, 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 I forgot. You can't die in this one. That's, that's how I'm alive. Also, I don't even know how this project is, though. There's, like, nails going through GF's hands. You see that crap? I don't even know how they're lying that on scratch. Alright, we're on the Cappy mod, and, uh, the charts here are also a little harder. What the hell were those notes? Oh, no, they're using the remastered version of BF in this. Yeah, he still does a mail too. I made the overlay spin at different times with the background. It's still impossible, though. Let me just turn down the spinning and see if I can play it. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun to do. The modding community should be taking notes right now. Alright, so constant spinning kind of got boring. So I just put it at a constant 90 degree angle. Oh wow, I can't see the right arrow now. This, it's, it's impossible now. It's impossible again now. Okay, this angle's a little better, but you still can't see the right arrow. Okay, I can see the right arrow from this angle, but it's still hard to play because it's like kind of upside down. When you're too poor to afford down scroll, so you have to flip your monitor upside down. Yeah, this is nothing like down scroll. The arrows are flipped and it's making my brain hurt. So there's all the ports and their ratings. Just look at their glory. Also, fun fact, about half of Scratch's demographic is under 13 years old, and Friday Night Funkin' isn't for that audience. Cable X's original port was removed by Scratch twice for having the mom and dad assets and Lemon Demon song. Schmish's Garcello remake was also removed because Garcello was holding a cigarette. Cable X has re-uploaded his port for the third time, and uh, Garcello is still dead. Anyway, subscribe.